Hello YouTube, Mike the Gambler Guy back at ya. Today we're still going to be playing the dance and I found a little bit of a hiccup when I'm playing the dance through first person. So first of all, if you want to know where I play, shoot me an email, MikeTheGamblerGuy at gmail.com. Appreciate if you like and subscribe. Um, that certainly does help the channel out. Uh, you're going to see that today I am uh, moving towards my goal and I had a little bit of a hiccup here. I mean, yeah, you lost five bucks. Almost six bucks, Mike. That's pretty dangerous. So you see my base bet's $5. So we're going to just continuing to playing the dance using the Fibo Yoga on the Regal Castle Bakra app. Um, and so with that, once I get into a shoe and talk, start talking about the dance floor and, and get into the dance, we will uh, talk about where, where this little bit of a hiccup comes into play. Uh, so with that, I've got $129 more yet to hit my goal of $400 for the day. Uh, let me see what my balance is, and that will be reflected on the next page once I get uh, back into the casino. So it's uh, it's still early here this morning, um, but we've been just kind of chewing through these shoes. Um, so here we can see, I, I, uh, let's see, I don't really like going into shoes that have longer runs. Um, don't like don't like the runs. <laughs> don't like the runs. So let's go in. We're going to click, click the broom, sweep those out, and then we're just going to put eight results in here to uh, to see what we can get as far as trying to get a low profile shoe because the dance really likes to, to move back and forth, and that's that's really a key thing with the dance, right? So um, this one still needs a little bit more love. Let's just go into that one, see what's going on. There's really nothing I need to write down anywhere. Because uh, I'm coming into the Regal Castle Bakra app, I'm playing uh, Fibo Yoda. So if you're like, well, what's 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 Fibo Yoda? Uh, as far as my management, it just says five dollars is my is my next bet. But let's just come back here. Let's say I was playing C2 bet four. I've got uh, Fibo or Fibo Yoda Fibonacci is is what that's really standing for there. And my bets would be five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, forty, sixty-five, one hundred five. And at that point, I I call it. I'm like, I'm not I'm not going past 105. It's 265 dollars if I didn't win anything. Um, and then with this, as long as you have either back-to-back -back wins or have a win-loss win, you are you're back into profit. And, and so that's 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 the key to this money management system. Yeah, I could go on further, right? You can take us up to 10. Well, that, that's just putting a silly amount of money. If something's not working in that shoe, something's not working in that shoe. And you're also going to be getting pretty deep in that shoe, which I'll, I'll show you that that becomes its own problem. Um, so I'm going to go back to the money management. And we've got Fibo Yoda first bat. So this is where we're just marking wins and losses because I, I certainly know how to play this. So we have a no, a no, looking at these two columns. You know, we got red, red and blue. Those two colors do not match. Back to Sesame Street, right? Those those do not match, and I do not play next to a tie. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a free hand. And I know on the very next hand, I will have a bet. So here I'm going to be going for a yes. So this is a no, no, and now I want a yes. So this is going to be $5 on the banker. I'm playing for three units per shoe. So that, that nine actually was looking pretty good until it didn't. <laughs> so we know we had a no, and now we got two ties, so we know we're going to have two free hands. This is the great thing about playing on first person, because if I was sitting at a table, you know, I, I, I had someone comment, oh, Mike's going back to the dance because nothing on, on Regal Castle works, and that is absolutely not true. I was actually excited, uh, get, now that I had found first person, I actually didn't even know it was out here, until uh, the Lords of Real Castle were like, no, this is where you find it. Uh, so then you've seen I've created some videos using first person, and everybody's like, well, the, the AI looks like it, it catches up to you. This is one that most certainly hasn't happened yet, because I think the AI is only tracking the main road and the derived roads. I'm not sure they're actually looking at the, uh, the this road over here, um, the bead road, because... I'll talk about that when we get to it, but that's uh, that's where we're having a that's where I found their hiccup. So here I wanted a a banker. I oh, need a banker here for ten dollars. We just had that that banker that next to that after that tie. Let's get one here. Four dollars. That was a big banker. Boy, they 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 just brought out all the guns on that one. 
It's okay. W is a W, so we can see we got one unit. We're up five, up uh, up five dollars. Looking for a fifteen dollar win. This this at this time will not count commissions, right? So I, I have a, I have a calculator over here that I can actually uh, jump on and do math for me. It's amazing, right? Um, that's just how we track it on the spreadsheet. Just 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 makes it more. Uh, well, it gets it real. I mean, you, you know exactly where you're at. Working towards your goal each day. So now we have a yes, yes. So now we can go for a no. $5. It's going to be on player. Yeah, we needed help there. Did not get it. So we've got yes, yes, yes. Now we're looking for another banker. It's going to be $10, as it says over here. Did not get the help there either. So we've got another loss. So do we know after two losses, we just sit here and we just hammer out some keys until one, we get the, the first no that shows up. And of course, there it is. So now we need another no. So if this one is a player, we'd have a no. Okay, there's another, there's another no. So now we're going into our third bet. Our third bet is simply just a recovery bet because our first bet was one unit and we got two units. Now we're at three units. So this is just getting our money back. So, you know, fighting back to even, not a bad thing. Um, no, nothing wrong with being back to even. So uh, this would actually be a little less than even because of the commissions, but but again, that's okay. Part of the deal. So now we're going to play this um, looking for a uh, yes for the next two two bets if needed. Hopefully we get it right here. 7-7 seven, seven tie. Now this is, this is the tricky part where you have to pay attention because now we went from next to a banker and now we're next to a player. So, so now we want our, our yes, but we're going to rebat, but I'm going to drag that over here to the player side because this is where we're looking for our yes. Did not get it. So now we're going to be going to a $25 bet, and we're also looking for the banker. An 8 to, ooh, to a 7. It was looking good. So what do we do now? That's right. More results. More results. Player. There we had our yes. Again, in the fifth spot. So in the fifth spot, that, that, that wouldn't have felt good if we were playing the dance 2.0 because uh, at that point we would have switched to what the pattern is going and both of those would have just eaten our lunch. So I'd be down six bets now instead of the four where I'm currently at. So we had a yes. If this is a banker, we'd have another yes. It's not. If it's a banker, we'd have another no. It's not. This is a tie. Free hand. And if this is a banker, we'd have a yes. All right, so if a yes, yes, we're looking for now a no. So this is going to be going for a player for $40. $40. Looking for no. Not the player. We're looking for a no. So this would be the banker. That's why, that's why it's important to check. All right, so I'm going to drag that $40 over here to the banker because we had a yes, yes, looking for a no of a banker, and that would hopefully get that to, to just line right up and be beautiful. <laughs> one nothing. We just, got, just took a loss with a one nothing. All right, so we know that we're still looking for a banker. It's just going to be sixty-five dollars. So we know there's the forty, and that that makes it sixty-five. So sixty-five dollars looking for the banker. Six-six tie, and that. Okay, so we're we're playing against blue here. So we're playing against blue here um, as well. So we're still looking for a banker. So this is just going to be a, a rinse and repeat. But we just need it on the banker side, like that. So then we get our W. You can see now we're down $25. So if we get this next win of $40, that automatically gets us into a win. right? We'd automatically be at our, our $15 uh, win. But let's, uh, let's, let's figure this out. So we've got a no. There's a free hand. And there's a no. So now we're also looking for a banker. Because now we want to go yes. And this is going to be a banker for forty dollars. Boop. 
boom. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Look at this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I've won three times and lost all those. And I'm still a winner. I am still a winner after all that. After all that pain. Imagine being in all that pain. If I was doing the Martingale, one, two, three, four, five, five losses, six, six losses on a Martingale. I'm like, this is a big bat. This is a big bat, right? So just get your back-to-back -back wins or get <laughs> win, loss, win, and the Fibonacci will pull you out. Uh, and this program just makes it easy. Literally right there for you to use. Uh, so now I'm going to do the, do the math. So now I'm going to going to um, going to go ahead and minimize this. I guess my picture is a little big. So we're at 1879.98. Bring up the spreadsheet. Minus 1870.73. So um, that's actually pretty easy. 925. <laughs> Yeah, it's supposed to be three units, but because I was <laughs> I was in there fighting those commissions, those commissions did chew me up a little bit. But that's okay. That's 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 in the W column. So now I'm just 120 away from my goal, and I'm just going to go ahead and put a D over here because we know we're going to be doing the dance for the next step. So let's go back and check our dance card, and uh, and, and see who's out on the dance floor. See, so yeah, I I think this looks like a great dance floor. I mean, this would be my kind of dance hall. Buckra everywhere, have some good music playing, which they don't. If I if I did, I did the music, you'd go, that, that's not, that doesn't constitute good music. Uh, this one has a lot of ties, so let's just go into this one, see what uh, what this is representing. And I will reset this page while we're getting in here. So we have a yes, no, keep, keep looking for results. So now we have a yes, and if we have a, if we had a banker there, we'd have had a a trigger hit. If we have a banker here, we'd have had a trigger hit. <laughs> if we had a banker here, we'd have had a trigger hit. If we have a <laughs> if we have a banker here, our trigger would hit. Now, here. <laughs> now, okay. So we did have a we did have a no no. And this actually I like this. It's actually putting us right on the right on track. To go ahead and play that uh, that that drop down or that dragon's tail, the start of the dragon's tail. So it's going to be five dollars on player. So five dollars on player, deal, deal. The old bit of hell didn't did not get that. So we got the L. We know we're still going to be back on player. Ten dollars because we do two bets. Man, it's hard to beat a nine. At least I knew I wasn't going to lose. It could be a tie, but I wasn't going to lose. So W, we've got $5 in profit. Two more to go. So if this comes out of player, we know that we're going to have a trigger. There's our trigger. And we know that the next one's a tie, so that's a free hand. And there's a banker. And then we're going to be playing for a banker up here because we yes, yes, no. You guys are getting this right? You're getting it? Yeah? It's easy, right? This is easy. This, this is how you just print money. <laughs> just, just print money. It, and the app, for me, the key to the app for me is keeping me disciplined so I don't go on tilt because I, I have been known to do that in the past. Um, so, I mean, for a dollar a day, a dollar a day. Is that ridiculous? I guess kind of ridiculous. And, and people are arguing that uh, that's too much money. What do you spend? What do you, what do you, do you drink coffee? What's a coffee cost you a day? Come on. Um, if you, I'm talking Starbucks or Dunk, Dunkin, you know, those are ridiculous. All right. So I think we're good. $5 banker deal. <laughs> Get off your soapbox, Mike. Deal. Seven to a nine. Awesome. So if we have a banker here, we will get another trigger. And there it is, just like that. So we know we're going to be five dollars in the banker to give us our third unit, and boom. It's as easy as that. I mean, I don't even have to pay attention to what anything over here is going on. Actually, I'm better mentally if I don't. 
I'd probably I'd probably even play better if I just did not look at the derived roads at all, and I could just maximize this. So so where did I run into problems? Right. So earlier I took a five dollar almost a six dollar loss earlier. Right. How, how'd that happen? Well, because you can see it as I'm on hand twenty one, I would have twenty two, twenty three, twenty four here. Right. Once I get down to twenty four, you can see that's also going to leave four open slots here. So I, at the most, I can have forty eight hands. And in that shoe, um, there was a long run that, that just went one way or the other. I think it was all all yeses. And it was just, yes, 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 yes. I mean, it was ridiculous. But it ended up pushing me so far out here. Once I got to out here, I was like, oh, wait, 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 this, I can't move this. It won't, it won't allow me to do anything as far as expanding the bead road. So 48 results is all you're going to get. So once I got down to the bottom there and I was like, okay, I have a $5 loss. I'm just going to go ahead and cut bait. And that's what I did. And I just marked that in the spreadsheet that I had a 575 loss. And, uh, and, and, and that is the limitation that I found in playing first player. Because I think they're tracking all the different bead roads in the main road. So when people say, you know, the AI is going to catch up to you, I'm not sure they are. Because they can't figure out how I'm making my bets in first person. If I was, if I was looking for a specific pattern here, like I'm looking for blue to be next, then they're going to be going, okay, you know, we know you're looking for player. And we can, we can really screw you there. Now, same thing here. If I got hit a resistance line here, I'm going to be looking for blue. Uh, I'm going to be betting on player. If I look over here, there's also another resistance line. It's going to be blue. It's going to be player. So, so what's the system going to give us? Banker. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I can argue that there's a new resistance line here, but this one actually broke through resistance. So that, that could be a player. And it wasn't. So they're like... They're like, yeah, we're not, we're not giving you anything uh, as, far as, as far as how I'm trying to read the derived roads. So that's what I'm trying not to do is read the derived roads and just play the dance. I hope that helped. Um, and and if, you, if you're not currently subscribing, please subscribe. It, it, it does help the channel. And I'm not making a million dollars doing this um, on YouTube. I, I'll be honest. Like every three months, they send me like 100 bucks because they won't send a check less than 100 bucks. So they're like, okay, every, every three months, um, you get it. And that's fine. I'm not, I'm not in it for the money from YouTube. Absolutely not. I am here to share with you. So um, for those that appreciate it, I appreciate you. For those that can do nothing but complain, <laughs> I would certainly give you an international symbol right now. Um, <laughs> because I'm not doing this for you. I'm sorry. Go to another channel. Um, this isn't this isn't worth doing all the work to, to put this out for someone that doesn't appreciate it. Uh, but for those of you that do, there's a hug, peace to you, wish you the best, and that you take money from the casino because that is what we should be doing every day. And that, that's really our goal is to help you to become better, more proficient, and disciplined. That is the biggest thing is that you have the discipline to be able to make money every day even if it's small money, small money grows into big money, right? Play slow and you're going to build your bankroll up actually rather quickly. Because if you try to play fast, it's where you lose your bankroll and you're reinvesting and starting all over again. And that, that's no fun. That's no fun. All right. Well, until next time, I'm Mike the Gambling Guy. I'm out. <laughs>